The Monpas are a nomadic tribe of Arunachal and practice Tibetan Buddhism. Turkya is one of their major festivals celebrated to eliminate any external energy from the land which could harm the sentient beings. It takes place in a monastery and is celebrated for three to four days where the monks perform different rituals including the charm dance followed by the burning of the Dorma. Before the actual charm begins, the audience needs to wait patiently. To control and entertain the crowd, the monks try various tactics. So after waiting patiently for a few minutes, the monks finally step out in the colorful attires to perform the charm. They slowly move forward and form a circle to perform. Each one is supposed to tell a story. Each mudra or movement has a distinctive meaning and is practiced for weeks by the monks before the actual festival. The chum in its entirety is not just a dance performance, but rather a meditation ritual. A legend links its origin to the great scholar Guru Padma Sambhav, who lived in the 8th CE. The king of Bhutan, Trishong Dachsheng had called the great scholar to get rid of the evil spirits who were hurling in the said construction of the Samya monastery. It is said that every night the entire day's work was destroyed by the evil spirits who opposed the Buddha Dhan. The revered master then performed dance to invoke the Chamara god to annihilate the evil spirits. It is also believed that the mudra and gestures of these chants have appeared in the dreams of various masters which is how Cham evolved in Tibet in coming centuries. In Tibetan Buddhism, they believe in internal enemies like ignorance, pride, jealousy, desire, cupidity, greed and anger among others. The music being played during the chant is also systematic and needs to be played in a certain rhythm. Tra, Ge, Pung, Jong. Tra is our dark internal enemy. Ge is the distraction. And the chant is performed with the intention to destroy its combination, Pung, Jong. The beats from the cymbals and long horns need to be synchronized with gestures. Each performer has to visualize himself as the deity whose mask he is wearing and later bless the audience with the same energy. Every object and clothing associated with the entire process is blessed before the actual charm begins. The audience watching the charm needs to focus their body speech and mind on the performance. They need to take blessings from the charm. After a few minutes of wait, a 
monk appears in the costume of a Buddhist mystic, followed by a monk in the costume of a deer. The charm stems from the 11th century legend where Jetsun Malaripa tamed a dog to protect a deer that had entered his cave. The charm could be interpreted in many ways depending on the performance. The most common interpretation being the one wherein Milarepa was meditating and a deer comes running for his life from two hunting dogs in its pursuits. Milarepa sings to him upon which the deer calms down and sits next to him. When the hunting dogs arrive in search of the deer, Milarepa sings to them as well, calming their rage. The moral of the charm remains how forgiveness and compassion should be offered not only to humans but all sentient beings, including the animals. The taming of one's emotions against anger in all circumstances, a fundamental Buddhist message given through it. One of the most sacred charm dances performed without masks, the Jhana charm is an enactment of a historical instance. After the last great Buddhist king of the Ved, Krishi Ralpachin was assassinated in 836 CE. His brother Dharma ascended to the throne and carried out the persecution of the Buddhist faith. Unable to bear the persecution of the Buddhist heritage that previous kings had created, a meditating tantric monk, Lalung Pelki, said to have come in the disguise of a dancer in dark robes with white inner linings and long broad sleeves. He is said to have hid a bow and arrow in the sleeves, riding a white horse which he painted black with charcoal. He performed a spectacular dance in front of the king and while he was distracted, shot him an arrow and took off on his horse through a river which washed away the charcoal and also turning the rope inside out. So when the king's men started looking, they only heard about a man in a white robe riding a white horse. Today. Chana Cham is seen as a reminder of eliminating evil powers for preserving Buddhist faith. The dancers of Chana wear a long silk brocade robe with very broad sleeve ends, a shoulder cover called Dojigong, a dark apron with a wrathful face with tassels at the bottom. The dancers carry a dagger and a scarf in the right hand and a skull cap in the left hand where the dagger depicts to kill the skull cap and serve to the wrathful Buddhas. The Jhana dancers are also given goblets to offer liberation to the enlightened being to seek their support to carry out the game successfully. The Yabdar scarf is typically used to summon and attract the evil forces who are to be liberated. And so, the black hat dance or the Jhana Jhana is a presentation of a tantric ritual of slaying the unruly demonic forces.
after the chana chan it's almost two in the afternoon and the monastery starts serving the lunch the lunch is served for the all the three days of the festival people from the community students from the nearby school and monks come together to prepare the lunch for the mass on the second day of the festival the monks bring out the torma for the ritual burning the torma is prepared by the monks several days prior to the actual procession Torma is an effigy believed to contain all the evil spirits. The monks carry the torma to the machang made out of dry bamboo leaves to be burnt with it and hence signifying the destruction of all the evil spirits with it. People swarm around the machang to watch the torma burn. The procession then returns to the monastery and does the ritual circumambulation of the court. followed by the ritual teachings given by the rinpoche The festival has two more days where they continue with different charms and initiate the white tara. Unfortunately, I couldn't be part of the festivals for the rest of the two days, but I definitely look forward to celebrating the festival with the same energy next year. Hi guys, I hope you like this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.